previously on Accutane Diaries. And uh, she said, I think you might be a good candidate for a low dose Accutane. So my acne, you can see, tends to kind of congregate in the periphery of the face. I think that I've seen a minor improvement in my skin. I broke out a lot this week. I would say that my skin type now could probably be classified as normal to dry. It seems as though everyone is on a travel band except for my acne. All right, week 11 of oral isotretinoin low dose now complete. So the last time I spoke to you, I think I said that my face was relatively clear. I was getting the odd sore blemish on my jawline and then these sore uh, cystic blemishes on my neck. And a few weeks later, that is still, <laughs> that's still what's going on in my life. I'm just getting the odd breakout on the jaw and also these sore blemishes on the neck. I'm really hoping that these don't scar. I haven't actually had a blemish that scarred since I started Accutane because I think the skin is just rolling over so quickly. So I'm being really gentle with them and I'm putting sunscreen on them every day and just hoping for the best. One of the questions that I had before starting, starting Accutane was, does Accutane just address the big sore blemishes or does it actually improve the skin's texture and refinement? Does it make the skin prettier, uh, for lack of a better term? And I can only speak for myself, but I definitely think that Accutane has improved the all-round refinement of my skin. So my pores look a lot smaller. Um, the, the texture of my skin is like so soft and smooth. Even the color, like I used to be much more rosy in the cheeks and it seems like that redness has gone down quite a bit. Um, I even think this might be, <laughs> this might be a bit controversial, but I even think that it softened some of those emerging fine lines that I had coming. Like there's one in my forehead that appears to have softened. The lines around my mouth appear to be less noticeable. I don't know. I'm not complaining. This is just something that happened to me. Yeah, I shall see you next week. <laughs> Oral isotretinoin week 12 now complete. So that is three months on Accutane. And uh, the neck blemishes appear to be um, clearing up, although I've noticed that these come in waves. So that could mean <laughs> nothing. Uh, also, I got really excited for a moment there because I thought, has my face cleared for good? And then my face was like, lol, no, lol, no, lol, no. But they're pretty small blemishes, so I guess I can't complain too much. I have noticed a little bit of dry flakiness here and there around the mouth, but it's so minimal, so minimal. I only notice it when I'm wearing certain foundations. Also, you guys asked me um, in my first Accutane video uh, whether I was, some of you asked whether I was still using topical retinoids or chemical exfoliants, and for the most part, no. Um, I'm treating my skin always like it's very, very compromised and delicate. Even if it doesn't feel super irritated um, or raw, I know that my skin is compromised right now, so I'm treating it like a very delicate, delicate flower. 14 weeks on isotretinoin complete. I think I missed the 13 week update, but actually not too much has changed. I think last time we spoke, I had a few sore blemishes on my neck and a few um, on the lower portion of my face and that remains consistent. Actually, these few that I had around my mouth were really sore and these are quite slow to heal. So I feel like I've kind of plateaued a little bit, but I'm trying to remain positive. FYI, in case you guys are curious, for the uh, angry raised blemishes, my favorite concealer to conceal those has been the Pat McGrath uh, concealer. And then to conceal any of these kind of dark spots or, or lingering marks, I've been loving, again, the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Camouflage Concealer, I use the shade SC3. These um, are really quite a dry formula and it really sticks on the spot and um, conceals dark marks really well. Can't recommend that enough. In terms of side effects, I really noticed in the past week or two that my eyes are very sensitive to light. You know, that's not a massive, uh, not a massive hurdle, if not for the fact that I film in front of the sun. <laughs> this is, this light is, so bright and there's been there have been a few occasions where I've come to sit down to film and I've had to like take a moment like take a just a five minute time out to gather myself because my eyes get quite sensitive. 
Week 16 of Isotretinoin Complete. If I can't make proper eye contact with the camera, it's because my eyes are too damn sensitive and we're gonna to touch on that in a little bit. For a few weeks there, I felt like I'd sort of plateaued. I wasn't really seeing any progress. And now in week 16, I just saw a rapid increase in progress. If you guys can kind of ignore this little bit of rashiness that I've got around my mouth, I'm gonna talk about that in a sec too. If you can ignore that rashiness, I would say that I'm I'm pretty much clear. I don't really have much acne on my face at all to speak of um, right now. The only, perhaps only a little bit of a, an exception are these little collection of lumps on my neck here which threaten to come to the surface, but then they change their mind and then they threaten and then they change their mind. Um, but hopefully that will resolve soon. So if someone asked me, how long did it take for low dose Accutane to clear your acne? I would say about 16 weeks. Um, I would consider myself to be pretty clear uh, now. I also so noticed a rapid increase in uh, side effects. So hopefully I'll get you a close up of my lips because <laughs> that's what everyone wants. The lip situation is really out of control now. They're just peeling in sheets. I've got this uh, kind of dry eczema dermatitis area underneath the, my bottom lip there. I've got some little bit of eczema and dermatitis around my mustache. That could have been my fault. That was potentially my fault. I took an eyebrow razor. Let me see. Um, these Revlon eyebrow razors are awesome. Um, if you uh, don't have sensitive skin, um, but I tried to shave my upper lip with an eyebrow razor and perhaps <laughs> Perhaps that was unwise. I'm definitely noticing noticing that sensitivity to the light is becoming more prominent um, when I'm driving and when I'm filming uh, and Also really strange, but what the hell is going on with my hair? My hair is first of all, there's a lot of baby hairs. I'm not sure if it's if when I came off birth control, maybe I lost a lot of hair and this is my hair regrowing or whether I'm experiencing breakage due to the Accutane. Um, my hair is acting unusually and it's not just these little bits of breakage. When I go to curl my hair, it doesn't hold a curl. Isn't that weird? It's so weird. But I wanna add, all of this is worth it to me. It is so worth it for me just to roll out of bed and get ready and not worry about my skin. It's a massive relief. I don't think about it. I'm still super happy. 18 weeks of oral isotretinoin complete. My skin is clear. I have not had a breakout since the 16 week mark, um, which I'm super thrilled about. My skin type I would say is normal. It's not as dry or as flaky as I was expecting it to be. Um, this little rash that I mentioned in the last check-in, this rash sort of, it's like a flaky rash in my mustache area and then also a little bit below my bottom lip. I might give my dermatologist a ring about that because rashes around my mouth make me nervous. <laughs> a few years ago, I had a really stubborn bout of perioral dermatitis and I had to go on like antibiotics and it was a whole nightmare. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that, but otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. The sensitivity to the light is sporadic. Some days I, I notice it more than others, um, but otherwise I'm feeling awesome. Okay, 19 weeks on oral isotretinoin complete so that you don't have to do the math. That's about four and a half months. And you guys, <laughs> you guys, bloody neck acne it's back man this this one really hurt i thought that the neck acne was behind us but turns out we've got some we've got some rogue guys here but there is good news um the rest of my skin is completely clear and wonderful and smooth and shiny and foundation looks amazing all the time and also that little bit of that flaky dermatitis situation that i had underneath my lower lip and around my mouth appears to be clearing quite nicely i'm super relieved about that that was actually concerning me um, concerning me a little bit. Other than that, I feel really good. You know, there have been a few kind of uh, niggling uh, side effects like the, the dry, sensitive eyes, sensitivity to the light, um, the flaky lips. They're all kind of like what I would describe as mildly irritating. I think we're gonna leave this one on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Will Karima ever conquer her neck acne? We'll have to wait until our, our next episode to find out. Um, I definitely will post another Accutane update after this. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. 
Thank you to everyone who sent me DMs and left comments on the last video. You guys are amazing. And if you are watching this video and currently on Accutane and you feel generous enough to share a little bit, a bit about your experience, leave a comment under this video because there, there is just like a wealth of information there and I'm sure that everyone is reading it you know, with me and finding it really helpful. Thank you for your comments and your messages. I will leave you now with my Accutane skincare routine. Um, the products that I've been using for the past four and a half months so that my skin has been really loving. Many of you guys asked for that, so here it is. Morning skincare routine. So I don't typically cleanse my face with a cleanser. I'm just really not that oily anymore. Uh, if you feel oilier, then by all means, cleanse in the morning with your cleanser of choice. I find now just like a quick splash of warm water is enough to, to cleanse my face. And then I pretty much go straight into uh, sunscreen, SPF. SPF is a must all of the time, but especially if you're on Accutane because your skin is more sensitive to the sun. We have um, kind of three sunscreens that I'm alternating between right now in terms of dewiness from most juice dewy to least dewy the ultraviolet queen screen spf 50 this is seriously glossy skin you've got to love a dewy finish but it is a very cosmetically elegant sunscreen um, it's got a lot of dimethicone and smoothing ingredients so foundation sits really beautifully over that one and then a new one that um, i'm loving right now the everyday humans resting beach face uh, spf 30 it feels like a serum it's so lightweight and it's got a medium dewy finish really loving that and then this one is the skin SkinCeuticals spf 50 physical fusion tinted mineral fluid the tinted mineral fluid was very hard to buy in Australia. I finally found someone who will um, post it to Australia. It must be something about like sunscreen regulation. Um, but if you can get this stuff, it's really nice. Um, it has a very fluid uh, consistency. It provides the tiniest amount of coverage. I will say if you are much deeper or much uh, paler than I am, then this tint might not fit you as well. But if you're around my skin tone, it's a really lovely tint that just takes the kind of edge off any redness that I have in my face. I'm always quite generous with my sunscreen application. I'll try to, you know, make sure that I'm applying really generously and taking it all down my neck because if you don't use the correct amount of sunscreen, you don't get the correct amount of protection. Unfortunately, we can't apply our sunscreen sparingly. And that's pretty much my morning skincare routine. Just pretty basic, um, obviously. 40 times a day, lip balm, more lip balm. Accutane nighttime skincare routine, let's do this. So if I just had like a little bit of mascara and concealer on that day and never left the house, or maybe it's a really late night or something like that, I'll go in with the Bioderma Sensor Bio on a cotton round. This is like my quick cleanse. Um, but for the most part, I like, to, I like to do a good rigorous cleanse at the end of the day, get all that makeup and long wearing sunscreen off my face. So for my first cleanse, I go in with an oil cleanser. Uh, if you are not familiar with oil cleansers, it's not exactly the same as like coconut oil or olive oil. These products are formulated with emulsifying ingredients so that they can actually mix with water and then rinse clean. So uh, I look, there are so many, there are so many uh, oil cleansers that I love, but right now I'm using the Tatcha One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. That's really bougie and a re really pleasant to use. Um, and also the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse which I have been using since I was literally a teenager. This stuff is bomb. Um, so I'm going to apply my oil cleanser to a dry face. This is sort of my opportunity for a facial massage, if that's your vibe. Then I'm going to add a few drops of water just to get those emulsifying ingredients going and the cleansing oil will turn a little bit milky at this stage. I'm gonna give this a rinse, BRB. So once I've rinsed off that cleansing oil, I like to go in with a second cleanse. You know, I flip flop a bit depending on what I feel like my skin um, needs. Sometimes I'll go in with something like the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is has a very gentle exfoliating action, which is good if you have kind of flaky skin. Um, sometimes I like to go in with the IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. This is just a really great gel moisturizer. Also has apparently some very mild resurfacing ingredients in there to 
aid in skin turnover. I love this IS Clinical Cleanser. It is, I heard a lot of celebrities talk about it and I was like, yeah, but is it really that good? But it, is it really that good? And honestly, I think it is. <laughs> I really enjoy it. It's the perfect amount of foamy so that it's satisfying. You get that foamy, satisfying uh, lather, but it's still super gentle. Super gentle for, for sensitive skins. All right, I'm gonna rinse this. Baby. Rinsed. And you can tell because half my head is wet. How do people rinse their faces at a sink without getting half their hair wet? I'll never quite understand it. Um, okay, so we did our double cleanse and now we're talking moisturizing. So again, I kind of see how my skin uh, feels on the day. If my skin's feeling really irritated um, or prickly or sore, then I'll use something like the Aven Skin Recovery Cream. This is a very bland moisturizer. I know that it's not gonna irritate my skin or cause any rashes, so that's a great one. I also really enjoy the Coenna Dermaceutical Skin Care Cream. This is actually formulated for uh, eczema, dermatitis prone skin, um, and it's really pleasant and lovely and gentle on the skin. Sometimes I feel like an oil. I just have it a moment where I think, mm, my skin needs an oil. And for, for those days, I really enjoy the Pi Rose Hip Bioregenerate Oil, one of my all time favorite oils. It's just so soothing and softening. We continue, I like skincare. Uh, sometimes I'll go in with the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. This is a jelly kind of moisturizer that is so quenching, it is ideal for dehydrated skin types. So if, you're, if your skin is feeling like it really needs a glass of water, that stuff is bomb. And then another product that, um, that I've only just started using recently, but I'm really enjoying, the Laneige Radiance C Cream. I'm gonna pop that one all over, um, including down the neck. You know, every, every time you cleanse your face or, or moisturize your face, bring it down the neck. I put my moisturizer around my eyes. I know, people are gonna have a problem with it. Feel free to debate in the comment section. Uh, I have nothing against eye cream. I like eye creams, but I just don't think that they're always 100% necessary. Um, and I find that my face cream serves my eye area quite nicely. Uh, so another question that I got uh, a lot was, Karima, are you still using retinols or um, uh, alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, exfoliants, that sort of thing? And for the most part, I will say no. But occasionally, if you find that um, you know your skin is very flaky, then something like that Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, I'd use something like that. Or maybe something like the Ren Glycolactic, this is a fabulous, uh, gentle, exfoliating treatment. But, uh, disclaimer, not all Accutane skin is gonna be the same, right? You might be drier than me or oilier. You might be more sensitive, less sensitive. You might be on a higher dose, I, I can't say. So maybe before you try to implement new products in your routine, take, uh, take them to your dermatologist and see what they say. So we've double cleansed, we've moisturized, lip balm. Oh. Love this. The uh, Marc Jacobs oh, coconut lip oil, love it. Instantly hydrating. Before you go, make sure that you check out my lip balm encyclopedia where I reviewed 40 different lip balms to let you guys know which were the very best. If you're on Accutane, you need that video. I'm going to link it here. I hope that you guys are having the very best day and I shall speak to you all very soon.